I'm Jamie King, one of the faculty members at Newmont University, sitting with Drew Cottrell, looking at his capstone project from last quarter. Drew, why don't you tell us a little bit about your capstone project, what you did last quarter. Okay, it's a maze generator where the user is able to upload an image and it creates a maze in the shape of that image and the lines in the maze follow the outline of the shape. Let's see it in action because that's, that's the coolest part. Yeah. So you can choose any random image? Um, as long as it has a pretty um, consistent color out, uh, background. Like cartoonish kind of? Yeah. Like? Okay. So, pick a different one. Batman? Oh, nice. Yep. Okay. And then you got the start and the end. Does that yeah. mark where the... Yep. Click start. Or, oh, do you get the outline first? And then... So, what does it, the get outline do? That's to confirm because sometimes it's a little off. Then okay. you can adjust the color tolerance. Do better. Get the exact outline. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's edge detection. Yeah, edge detection pretty okay. much. So, you're marking the start and the end... Yep. Points on the maze. Then, and, and after adjusting the path width, uh -huh. you just generate. And so that's the, your, your program generated that maze then. Yep. That's really neat. Let's do, let's do one more image. Okay. Like, okay, do you want to, most of these should work. What's the most fun one? Pikachu? Most, huh. Pikachu, sure. Let's do Pikachu. Yeah, I'll need to adjust the color tolerance on this one. Don't know which way. So when you slide that down to the left, what does that mean? That it's more strict. Left is more strict. Okay. Maybe ex exact. Yeah, it has, this one's exact. Okay. Okay, then start and end. So you can put your start wherever you want and the end wherever you want. Yeah, it's better if they're away from each other, or else often the maze will be like way too easy. Okay. And then generate. <laughs> that is really neat. That's really neat. Where'd you come up with the idea for this maze generator? Um, actually, uh, Matt Warner first uh, suggested like a base, just maze generation for original idea, then talked around, and then he suggested, what if it's any shape? And like, then came up with that. So, mostly his idea. So, to talk me through your maze generation algorithm, is it something you use that you found online? Is it your own algorithm? Is it a um, mix of between? The um, algorithm, well, first, what I did myself is making all the lines, but then I found an online algorithm to figure out which lines to remove to make it a valid maze. Is there more than one route to the end, or is there only no one route? each uh, only one correct path from beginning to end? So what what algorithm did you design to generate the initial lines inside of the maze? Um, well, first um, I can do the, show you the step by step one. Okay. That shows it pretty well. Um, yeah, demo. This is the demo one. Do a small one because it's quicker. Um, then there's two different ones. This one's the better one. I'll show you that one. So first, yeah, it makes it lines. This is like what it does it first finds a point that's the first specific distance away, mm -hmm. then it circles all the way around. It just traces it? Yeah, or to make a line. And uh -huh. then some of the corners it evens out because sometimes you get a really, really thin section that doesn't work very well. I see. So it chops those off. I see. And then it even, in the inner ones, it, it even finds multiple sections within one, which is pretty tricky. You mean in the middle yeah, here? Yeah, middle right here. So three and one. Oh, yeah, the next step is adding these lines. So you did the first step and this step? Yes. Okay. That's all my own code. So you just, it looks like you sliced and now you've diced the map essentially. Yes. But, okay. So then what's the next step after Then this? it's the maze generation where it begins with one, the green line's the one that's being removed. Uh-huh. Where's the green line? Oh, can, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah right there. Uh-huh. So it's considering that line whether to remove it or not? Yeah, it, no, it is removing. This is oh, the next okay. line's removed. Why did it choose that green line? Well, at first it picks one at random. Okay. So then the next one, it's one next to it. Okay. And then the one kind of going in a path, uh -huh. not always against the edge, but it goes in a straight line, or not a straight line, but a straight single path uh -huh. until it gets to a dead end, and then it breaks another branch. I see. 
Yeah. And so this is the algorithm you yeah, found see, online. It, yeah, then it got to a dead end. Whose algorithm is this? Um, it's actually kind of kind of like a searching algorithm, uh -huh. but then it just adjusted to be a maze generation because it's like you have a graph, you're trying to find a specific node, you there's it's a depth first search. That's basically what I'm doing. I see. So it's been a, been around a very long time. It's just been adapted to maze generation. So then got to a dead end over here, starts a new one. That's a short one. Over here, goes to a line. And then doing that, close to done. And then it has the maze. That's really neat. Yep. So what were, what'd you learn doing capstone? This is pretty interesting, very impressive capstone to the faculty. What did you learn personally from this project? Um, how to stick with a project, um, importance of good code to build upon. Um, be aware of bugs. You want to fix them early, not later. Did you I learn that the hard way? Yeah, well, not too bad. There are a couple of times, like uh, something I didn't know like a week or two ago, then it came up and like, I need to fix this. It's got, oh, test a lot. Like some, sometimes it works for the first three images I try, but then the fourth one, no. <laughs> that's really neat so you did well on your capstone and now you're in enterprise you'll be graduating in three quarters yes and any particular company or type of job you're looking at or are you pretty open to anything um few things i want to do some something like more logical not just straightforward do this do that something where i have to like think so in the like that, yeah something like that yeah unless i'm learning new programming languages but yeah so on Capstone, you're, you're pretty much, you have guidance, but for the most part, it's up to you to make this happen on your own. Yeah, and I didn't really ask for help much, I just, on my own. How much coding did you know before you came to Newmont University? Before? A little bit. Um, I didn't know anything object-oriented, though. Okay. And obviously, this is a lot yes. of object-orientedness. What languages or what had you dabbled in before you came to Newmont? Um, C Sharp, and then before that, long time ago, my... Dad showed me like Visual Basic, the really old one. That's kind of what we got me wanted to get into coding. That's cool. And now you're all the way to doing the maze generation algorithm. That's yep. really neat. Okay. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot.